Welcome to Outdoors with Joe. Today we're going to do a little uh, unboxing review of something I've been wanting for a while. Can you take a guess of what it is? I'll have to open up the box. Take a look. Well, if you haven't guessed what it is yet, it's a chronograph. Been wanting one of these for a while. Ordered this off the of eBay. Wasn't very expensive. You can pick these up for like 60 bucks on eBay. Comes with all the hoods. And looks like an extra hood for it. Alright, let's put it together and take a look at it. Alright, let's take a look at this little crony. Uh, I ordered this crony off of eBay. It doesn't really have a, uh, a manufacturer's name on it. The only thing it says is Ballistic Premium Precision Chronograph. Bullet Arrow Velocity. It says some specs on it. It says it's velocity in the range of 21 to 7,000 feet per second. That's about all it says on it. It comes with three light bars. Requires four AA batteries. Let's go in the bottom. Already took the cover off. Alright, let's assemble it. I looked at quite a few cronies and I've been looking at them for quite a while. Most cronies cost over a hundred dollars. This one here was $49.97. Just under 50 bucks. Didn't come with any instructions. Now I did notice that somebody else on YouTube had a video of this same crony. They were doing a good job on the video, but it was in another language. And I only speak one language. Again, there is no instructions. So this is just guesswork. But it looks pretty straightforward. the extra light bars for unless it's just an extra part not a very big shooting
might want to be careful if you shoot a crossbow or an arrow through this. Not very wide. See if we can get the batteries in it. A little closer look. It takes four double A. It's actually made pretty sturdy. It's not flimsy. Got one odd battery. And of course the cover goes on. We're going to leave the cover off for now. I guess the green means go. On and off. Now in the descriptions or on the eBay it says it stores shot strings four sets of data can be mounted on top of a tripod or placed on a bench. Delete an individual shot or entire string with the touch of a button. I only see one button on it. It says it'll store 80 shot strings. Now this is my first chronograph, so I don't know a whole lot about it. But uh, I've got a lot of toys. I'm going to run through this thing and make some videos of some... Uh, a lot of my subscribers ask how fast does it shoot, um, so we just gonna put it through its paces. All right, folks, uh, we got the crony set up. We're gonna take a few shots through it with my Cisco Century 22 cal. Um, not not trying to uh, check out the Cisco as far as uh, how how it's doing. I'm checking out the crony. So this is just to see how the crony is reacting and, and how well it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the crony off. I'm going to turn it back on. Let it cycle through the startup. And it should be ready. Alright, I'm going to shoot a few shots through it and uh, see how well it, uh, it does. If it captures every shot or if it misses or whatever. So let's check it out and see how it does. Shot number one. Here's shot number two. Didn't get that one. Here comes shot number three. Didn't get that one. Here comes shot number four. up that one. Shot number five. Didn't get that one. And shot number six. Okay. I see that when you're shooting through the crony it looks as though you have to try to stay exactly in the center when you shoot through the diffusers. So here comes shot number seven. Uh, I'm going to put it right in the center of the diffusers or as close as I can. Shot number seven. Here comes shot number eight.
I think that was six out of eight. Now I do know that, that cronies are uh, light sensitive. So it could just be with the lights. But, hey, 50 bucks on eBay. Uh, now I'm not sponsored by these people. I just wanted a crony. And I wanted you guys to see this. If you want one that you really don't have to. Now I'm not saying that the, the, the more expensive ones are not better. Because they probably are. Uh, the only drawback I see from this crony is the meters per second. I would rather it be feet per second. Um, the eBay ad said it read in feet per second or meters per second. Uh, it didn't come with no instructions. So this is a, a learn as you go type of crony. Or at least it is for me. This, this is my first crony. so. But for $50 I, I wasn't expecting it to be you know top shelf I just want something that would give me a little bit of data on uh, some re doing some reviews and shooting some of my uh, crossbows and bows and and air rifles and and um, but anyway so far it, it seems to be okay six out of eight shots that's not that bad I've watched other videos uh, where it's always kind of a hit and miss usually with the chronographs I guess it the light plays a big role in it I don't know if you, you should be in a direct sunlight or you should be in the shade uh, if any of you guys know uh, I'd appreciate the input make some comments below uh, but anyway folks thanks for tuning in uh, as always I appreciate all of you watching I appreciate all my subscribers uh, thanks for tuning in folks have a great day God bless